Hey everyone, Pastor Rod here in Tokyo, Japan. We're doing a series on Ephesians, being sons and daughters of God, loved, blessed, filled by the Holy Spirit, living in great lives. And chapter 5, where we're up to, talks about being imitators of Jesus, getting ready for great relationships and marriages and all that. And it's giving the wisdom how to do that. And this one's about letting God's light shine on us. And I'm going to read to you from verse 8b, this last part, through to verse 14. It says here, live as children of light, for the fruit of light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. This is the result of God's light shining in our lives. And find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. You know, the opposite of light is darkness and closeness, and it doesn't lead to joy. It leads to sadness. I believe that there's a a time we need to confess and open to God and Allow his light to shine on our lives. For it is shameful even to mention what is disobedient to to do what the disobedient do in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible. For it is light that makes everything visible. That's why it's said, Wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. I love this. I I became a believer forty four years ago. I was full of darkness and On my salvation night, I received Jesus. My heart was changed. I had a new heart. The Holy Spirit came in. I was released from a lot of darkness, filled with his love. But I still needed to open up areas that were in darkness in my life. I don't mean forgiveness to be saved, but it it, talking about openness to be healed and living a life of victory, a life of of joy. You know, growing up, my, my parents were not together and um, I, I got involved in the occult and, and silly things and um, allowed that to really influence my thinking. So as a new believer at 19, I needed to get his light, read the word, Jesus, what's your word, and love the Bible. And I just replaced the darkness with the light. And as it did, there was an opening to allow God to heal some really deep wounds from when I was a boy with my father and and other things. And uh, God was able to do that. I was able to forgive and love my dad and he became a believer before he died, which is great personal news uh, for me. But this this scripture is saying, let God shine on you. Don't hold things in darkness. And as a pastor, I know many people are hiding things, especially in the area of um, pornography, sexual fantasies, and and greed, and unforgiveness, and offense, and all that stuff. It's just it's just tightly wound in our hearts. And I believe that we need to say, Lord, I, I want to open it to you. I want to confess to you this, this darkness. And it says, let sh- God's light, Christ's light shine on you. And when people do that, there is a freedom. There is a new way of living. There is the beginning of healing of so many things that allows us to have great relationships. See, even in even in my life and, and Viv's life, God's had to heal us early on that we could have a great marriage. Even though we were believers, there were still things that God needed to heal. And the key thing was opening to God or or to someone to help pray with us, to open this concept of walking in the light is such a new, a new Testament concept. I don't think we need to confess to someone else, but it does help sometimes. It's up to you, up to you and God. But I believe we need to confess to God and allow healing power. Let me pray now. I pray, Lord, that we would open up to you, Lord, anything that's shameful, dark. I pray we would open to you right now and say, Lord, heal me, forgive me, bless me, be with me in these areas. I pray for a change that areas of darkness would become filled with the light. I will let the light of Christ shine on me in Jesus' name. Amen. We're getting ready for great relationships. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you enjoyed today's episode with Pastor Rod, why don't you subscribe on whatever platform you are listening to this and we'll see you next time.